Oh, wait, Cookie with Peace, uh, you are the home team. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> we are going to ban Goldmine. Goldmine oh, is out of here. Oh, we'll ban Slay. Good, good Slay ban. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're picking Watermill. Uh, we'll pick Villa. And then there is, we're banning Classic. Um, Damn. I guess we can ban Spaceship. Spaceship no. last map will be Courtyard. Okay, good luck. If yeah. I if I map yeah. correctly, uh, message me who your party leader is. Me. And what? uh, hold up, Zebrazy is ours. Oh, I have to change. VCs. Well, that was. That was that was, that was, quick. Yeah, that, was that was locked in. <laughs> I I didn't even have time to talk about the maps. No. Nope. Oh, we'll okay. Talk about <laughs> no, you don't, you don't get to. The bird was yelling at me. I had to get out of there. All right. So we have uh watermill, villa and courtyard. We are seeing villa once 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 again. Of course. God, how many times have we seen Villa over the past week? Everyone loves Villa. We all love Villa. Come on. Give us a little Villa. I know there's a stat somewhere on here. There has uh, to be, right? So, Cook with Grease pick Watermill. Goldens think they can take it on Villa, and... Both teams are leaving it up to Courtyard. Interesting. I haven't seen too much of Courtyard yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we haven't seen uh, we haven't seen too much of Courtyard. I'm excited to see more of that map. I'm also excited to see more of Classic. Unfortunately, it was banned. Uh, boo hoo hoo hoo. Uh, um, but yeah, we're we're seeing the return of Watermill. Uh, seeing the return of Villa, honestly, it, it, Villa's been played so much. It, it's it's honestly wild how much it's been played. I'm sure it'll be one of the maps that gets a little stale as time goes on, and people probably tend to move away from it. I absolutely agree. I had to use absolutely. I'm I'm sorry. It's okay. I think it's definitely a map that has a lot of innovation to still be done because i feel like the main meta right now is three hallway side one down for the pot and then we just play a little bow game so yeah definitely that's, that's lots of room to grow definitely what it feels like and i am hoping for more innovation so that it doesn't feel as well boring <laughs> the, uh, the ready check has gone out and uh, it's Watermill. That's the first map, right? Yeah! Watermill! Watermill. Watermill's a fun map. I, I've started to enjoy it a little bit more recently. I agree. Watermill's always been a great map. So I'm glad you're a convert to the Believers. Yeah. Granted, it's still not my favorite. Goldmine has my heart. I'm sorry. But... Watermill, it's it's a it is a fun map, and yeah, we've got the first round coming shortly here. Here we go. Coming with Greece, looking to right their ship. Snaz early hit on. Ooh, an orb also hit Snaz. Snaz hit again on six, six and, and a half. half. Yeah. Like there was an power. orb. Oh, Crunchy goes one. down to Brunch. Brunch gets two. And it's Zebra and King Luke. Snaz gets a shot on Zebra. And King Luke falls to Snaz as well. And a clean execution of the Golden Goldens from Cooking with Grease. I will say, it, it looked uh, more or less stable, at least on bridge side at the beginning. Uh, but after... After a little bit of bow fights back and forth, and then tower side completely falling to Brunted, they, they just bridge side couldn't do anything, and King Luke and uh, Zebra just kind of were a little bit stuck there. 
Yeah, not much you can do when Brunted simply takes out half of your team. <laughs> mm-hmm. And getting into round two, we'll see if Golden's try anything different. It looks like a pretty standard 2-2 push. If they try anything different to uh, surprise cooking with grease. Alrighty. Round two, starting up now, cooking with grease has the advantage. Looks like a three push. Crunchy Ooh, just swashing Stabray. tower. Stabray does get shot early here. An orb in this corner. looks to have hit the barriers. Oh, and King Luke takes a bunch of shots as well. We've got Runchy a gets Sparky invis. Sparky does go trades. down, but Runchy it is. One. Oh, and that is a taste for Cooking with Grease to take round two. Indeed. You can uh, pretty good work out of this golden, golden side. Uh, a very just confident, uh, simple, uh, I'd say, uh, round from cooking with grease there. This is a map that they know. This is a map that they are good at. And right. it's why they pick it. <laughs> exactly. It's why, they, it's why they pick this map. Where's the taste and... speech? I mentioned the taste. Yeah. I, I think I also hey, mentioned the Come taste. on, Bird. But I have to give a speech now? It's not enough to mention it? Alright. Well, four scores okay, well... seven years ago. <laughs> Cooking with Grease got a taste. Damn, I didn't even know MCC Island was out for that long. Yep. It's, uh, well, four score is like 20 coins, so it converts strangely. Oh, anyway, okay. round three. He says Rebo again. does land on Snaz, but full... Full bridge side push from Golden's here, but they look to hang back in the corner. And Orb does force uh, Kabelic out of the tower. And both sides looking to have. Oh, we've got oh, a mid push from Golden's filling. here. With the TNT. And it takes. And it Golden wins! Take a round. Coolest screen and brunted trading kills, and Golden's get the, get the round win. Yeah, that, that was. Uh, that was coolest greens own TNT. Uh, they made the push for mid and were able to somehow only dragon brunted and nobody else contested it. Dragon with grease maybe uh caught sleeping at the wheel a little bit. Mm hmm You know that was one of cooking with grease's uh downfalls in the preseason pandemonium was at times they were not watching mid i wonder if the golden goldens are going to be using this to like yes yes preseason pandemonium mention you you get to mark that off your bingo card um yeah i wonder if the goldens will be using this to their advantage round four underway goldens if i am them Definitely going to be looking at mid a little bit more carefully this time around. Full we'll tower and, push here from cooking with grease. When oh, they're just running it down onto King Luke. Front it does get shot, but King Luke in a little bit too deep. Takes a few off of Snaz, but here comes an Invis Sparky. Cool screen again in for mid, but gets taken out, and that is the last of the Gold of Goldens on this round. Naz with two. Good round from Cooking with Grease. Clean sweep from them. Improving to three and one on the map. And chat did not see anything. Don't worry about it. Uh, what 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 did chat not see? <laughs> Me uh forgetting to go full screen. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. SMA. I switched to halfway through the round, it was fine. It was like ten seconds. Oh yeah, the, the stream title does also need to be updated if uh, one of Ooh. our resident mods, hopefully, who's in chat and can do these kinds of things, if one of you could 
quickly fix that real quick. That would, that would be splendid. Yes, please, Colin, Greg, Colin. <laughs> All right, uh, round five. Golden's backs against the wall, although it is Cooking with Grace's map pick, so. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, guys. <laughs> we'll see and an orb disrupts the Golden's pursuit of bridge. Uh, King Luke providing a little bit of pushback on tower. But not much doing. Sparky's TNT at mid, preventing an early mid push. But here comes Coolest Green with their own TNT. Managing to place their first. But Crunchy and Zebra go down. Sparky goes down. 1v3 for King Luke. And heal for Cooking with Grease. And that is all. Of... Getting Snaz really low, but that is over for the map. 4-1. Golden's uh, pulling a map out on a very strong map for Cooking with Grease, so can't take too much away from that. Um, yeah, very strong for performance from Cooking with Grease, though, as we expect mm -hmm. on a map yeah. like Watermill. Now, if you're if you're the gold of Goldens, uh, this obviously was not your map pick. This is the map that Cooking with Grease is incredibly, incredibly powerful on. But they did manage to take a round, which sometimes doesn't even happen uh, against other teams. They did not get swept on this map, which is... It's good to see, at the very least. Mm -hmm. They are fighting. They are still uh, pushing. They're not going to be giving up here. And I expect a very good fight uh, from the next map, which is... What is it? Courtyard? Uh, I believe I'm gonna check it's, that. It's Villa, Villa next, I believe. Oh right, it's Villa next. What? Nah, I'm I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <clears throat> <laughs> I mean, I would love to see. I would love to see it go to courtyard, so we could get a little bit more courtyard action in here. But no sub from the other team. It will all depend on. Uh, how the Golden Goldens do on their map pick of Villa. What I do need to give a round win to. Uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah, you may you may want to give a there map win there. There you go. You get, you get a map win. You get a map win. Yay! Map two Villa starting up. Ready check going out. Like who's not is ready? Who who's not uh, finished the ready check? Uh, I believe that. Would there be... we go. No one's getting banned today, at least for yeah. that reason. All right. Well, on to Villa. <sighs> and I've I've gotten so used to playing Battle Box today. That once I load it into the map, I immediately right click to choose the kit. I've, <laughs> this is how you know I've played BattleBox a little bit too much today. Open the navigator. Oh no. Where will I teleport? Nowhere. Go back to the island. Don't want to watch no! this one. No. <laughs> Pony getting the solo cast. I've got the stream delay cast. It would be terrible. All right. Here we go. Map two, round one. Last map was Cooking with Grease's map pick. This is now Golden Golden's territory. King Luke does take a shot from Snaz. He's down low. Ooh, and Crunchy on... King Luke and Crunchy both drop. 2v4 for the Golden Goldens. Yeah, 1v4 is just going to be too much to handle for Coolest Green. t snaz with a big 3. Grunted with mm -hmm. 1 to open it up. And as we were seeing on map 1, we are now again seeing on map 2. And if I am the Golden Goldens, if I wasn't worried already, I'm getting worried now. Yeah. 
granted, I'd already probably be at least a little bit worried uh, heading into this matchup. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, we get Snaz with three, Brunted with one. Uh, being able to, we saw the cooking with Grease team be able to absolutely punish a lot of the positions of the Golden Goldens, uh, which I think is a little bit expected. Cooking with Grease has played this map before. Uh, they know a little bit more of the positioning, uh, where players are likely to stand. Uh, they, they know these kinds of things, and that probably serves them uh, a little bit more of an event advantage uh, than it would to Golden Goldens, who I don't think have played on this map before. Have they? I'm checking that too. Uh, I don't now. think so. I do not believe in my own team. Oh. I know for a fact that the Goldens are going to bring this back. I'm not being mean. I'm not trying to poke fun at them because they're down. I believe in them. Have a wonderful night. <laughs> All righty. Snaz grabs their team pot while Crunchy grabs the Goldens. They have Razy's shot. Crunchy coming back to help. Sparky also does take a shot. Oh, and we've got Kay Bellic absolutely dropping coldest, or coolest green with no health down. Uh, oh, some and heals, blindness down. Orb. Yeah, Zay Brazy. Uh, oh, Sparky does go down to King Luke. Oh, missed the web, and that's that's wraps for that round. A team that ace a, from a, Cooking with Grease. Another, another taste from Cooking with Grease. Remember, at Detective Bird, there was a taste for Cooking with Grease. Yes, we're specifically mentioning Detective Burb because otherwise, Detective Burb would mention us. I'm banning all of you. <laughs> we're we're both higher power than you. <laughs> no, he's banning me. This is so sad. Oh, th this is this is truly unfortunate. See, I said no, uh, so it can't legally happen. Oh, okay. Well, fun, fun little trick. If you are getting killed in Battle Box, just say no. They cannot legally kill you without mm. your consent. Know your know your rights, everyone. Remember to Google exactly. your rights. On the Arcane Discord server and the Arcane Twitch. No. Anyways, Cooking with Grease handled the previous two rounds with uh, superiority. Uh, although plum. Golden Goldens did grab a kill from this past round, so we'll see if that will give them at least a little bit of momentum here. Well, we've got a Golden's push from Zebra and Crunchy. We've got a push hey, from the other side as well. This could be good. Brunted Brunted goes down goes to Zebra. It's not as low. Wait. Oh, that's Cool screen huge... and Zebra go down though, and Crunchy out too. Three. The push and King Luke is on two. That was a good push at the start though. They were able to take up Brunted. Cablex just filling mid. Oh, Sparky does get Luke a shot. One. Oh, oh. The web, but not able to get the hit on the snaz. So close. Snaz with three again, I believe, from an earlier mm -hmm. round. Yeah, snaz with three again. Yeah, snaz with another three. Things snaz are three. looking Definitely up for the Golden three. Goldens, but this is the last. Th this next round is the last round where they were able to make some sort of a comeback. I did like the push though. That push looked great. They had energy they had drive they were able to take out brunted really quickly but they were just unable to continue the push from both sides coolest green and zebra both dropped and then just all over from there yeah i definitely liked what happened unfortunately cooking with grease just very good with using their util to stop that push but i think i think golden goldens has a shot if they try that again Mm -hmm. I predict that Golden Goldens uh, will take this round, given <sighs> the momentum that they've gained. I think that they could take this round here. Let's see it happen. So here comes Reset round four. Zay. They're trying it again, looks like. Oh, but they're ready for it this time. Zay is on oh, two yeah. self-heals and heals Crunchy. That's two heals gone. That is a nice flick of a heal. Snaz is on six and a half. Zebra goes to mid, mid oh. where he's met by Sparky. Cablelick does get shot. 
it is now a 4v3 for the Goldens. Front D and Zebra oh, both yeah. down. And here comes Brunted to start filling mid. Oh, and they're they just going to fill it. And the Golden Goldens yeah, are they a little do. bit too away. And that is game. GG. A 4 0 and a 4 1 from Cooking with Grease to right the ship and get a, a first uh, map or sorry, game win on the board for the season. Mm hmm. It was, it was not an 8 0, though. It, it was not a complete and total sweep. Golden Goldens are still alive and kicking. It. There's some very there, good ideas. They got yeah, the first, they, I believe, the first pick in that round. Yeah, Crunchy getting mm -hmm. Kabelic. So, just a, I think just a few things that they need to refine, and I think they could be very dangerous for a lot of teams. Absolutely. Well, unfortunately, uh, for you guys, and fortunately for me, who has not eaten dinner yet, uh, that is all of the IBL action that we have for you today. However, let us run down what we've got up for tomorrow. We've got a whole bunch of B-League action. If you are a Mousetrap fan, uh, you got to strap in for this. We have Sirens versus Eclipse at 3 p.m. EST, Mousetrap versus Antarctic Guards at 4, and then Mousetrap with a double header at 4.45 against Night Vision, who we just saw win... T uh, wait, who won that game? Am I going crazy? Yeah, that, that was Night Vision who won Night against Vision the Arbenheimers. Night Vision won against Arbenheimers today. And then, uh, to, then at 5.30 EST, we see Hank plus 10 versus the Gold Golds. Hank plus 10 uh, showing to be very dominant in their game versus a very good Arcane Academy team. So lots of exciting action uh, mm -hmm. featuring lots now, of exciting teams. Before we send you out, we have some good news. And that, my friends, is that the Stats Yap is ready. Oh my gosh, I love the, the Glue, glue Stick Stats, stats Yap! Yes! Yeah! <laughs> The Golden Goldens had a little bit of a quiet game here uh, with not a lot of kills up on the board. King Luke uh, takes the top spot uh, going 3 and 8. Uh, Crunchy with the next spot at 2 and 8. And Coolest Green and Zaybrazy uh, go 1 and 8. Uh, both of them only getting one kill there. Everyone on, uh, everyone on the Golden Goldens uh, only getting 8 deaths. Wow. Which is interesting because there were 9 rounds played. I think that last fill, uh, which left, uh, who was it, Crungy? No. Uh, King, no. Coolest Green. Yeah, was, uh, Coolest Green alive uh, counteracted the one round that they won, and Coolest Green also died. So everyone ended up oh. with eight deaths. However, on the Cooking with Grease side, there's a much different story. So you know how Snaz uh, was always like consistently getting low. Uh, yeah, he never, I do remember that. never got killed. Fourteen what? and O from Snaz, absolutely decimating everyone. No deaths. Jeez, Fourteen kills. Incredible. Brunted takes the next spot, going ten and two. Also. Fantastic job from Brunted. And then we've also got Kabaluk going 4-1. and one, And Sparky, a little bit of a sacrificial lamb with most most deaths on Cooking with Grease, going 4-4. Four and four. Oh, hey, look, it's another perfect 1KD. Good job, Sparky. And GG's to both teams. Well played. Uh, great games, as you said, from Snaz, Brunted, and the gang. And... Uh, definitely hope for the Golden Goldens for the future. Lots of good ideas, I think, that were coming out towards the end of some of those maps.